since we had so much fun making pillows this week, we thought it would be fun to make a pillow room. So we will be making one using poster board, scrapbook paper, fabric, fluff, felt, a needle and thread, and glue. I start by folding poster board in half and then in half again. I take a second poster board and repeat. Unfold and cut one of the poster boards in half. Unfold the other one and cut up to the center point. So I end up with two pieces of poster board that look like this. Take the large piece and fold it in half. Place the half poster board on top lining up the edges, glue paper over the edge to connect them, fold over the added piece of cardboard and make a crease to make a folding room with an extra wall. And I'm following the same steps onto the poster board. I'm just using the colored paper to make it easier to see because it's a white poster board on a white background. Take the remaining poster board and cut it in half Glue them onto the back of the outside walls, giving the side walls more support to stand up straight. And remember to always be careful when crafting. Paper cuts are no fun. I begin covering the poster board with scrapbook paper by applying a generous amount of glue with a glue stick, then laying down the paper. Press firmly to smooth it out and remove any air bubbles. When I get to the fold, I make sure the poster board is bent before covering. This will prevent the paper from tearing when folded. Then continue covering. I chose to cover the walls in a whitewashed wood plank. I left the far left wall white because I am going to make a window here later. For the floor, I am using a pink wood plank. I found all of this scrapbook paper at Michael's craft store and I really like the wood because it adds a rustic look to the room. After covering the floor, use paper for trim around the bottom of the wall, leaving a little space to avoid the fold. Now I lay the room flat and use a ruler to lightly draw lines to make a grid. I use another ruler that is slightly thinner and use it to draw another set of lines to make the panes of a window. Erase any unnecessary lines I use an X-Acto knife to cut on the lines drawn and I'm only cutting the inner rectangle, leaving a thin line between each rectangle to make a window. Now that I stop and take a look at the room, I feel like we did a little too much texture and we need to tone it down a little. So I am going to recover the walls with our favorite white brick pattern. I left the gray along the top and used it to frame the window completing the basic room. Now let's make some pillows. I start by cutting a rectangle of felt, place it onto a piece of fabric, cut around it, and I like to cut the fabric a little larger than needed. Place it onto the fabric again and cut out a second one using a needle and thread or a sewing machine. On the long side, I start about a third of the way from the end, begin sewing a straight line, that goes all the way around the edge. When you get that fire burning up inside it, never running that love, 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 love you get. I stop before I get to where I started, remove it from the machine, trim off the excess, cut off the excess fabric past the corner, making sure not to touch the stitch. Go between the two layers of cotton fabric and turn it inside out. I use the end of a paintbrush to push out the corners. Then I close the opening by pinching it between my fingers, making sure that the fabric is even on both sides. Use a needle and thread to sew it closed. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. When I get to the end, I tie a knot and trim off the excess. To make a floor cushion, use a post-it note as a pattern to cut out squares of fabric. Lay them good side to good side, sew a straight stitch around the edge just as before, leaving an opening, trim off the corners, turn it inside out, add fluff, sew it closed, and knot the end. Push the needle through the pillow coming up through the center, cut the thread to hide the tail end of the thread inside the pillow. 
to make a simple decorative pillow. Now we just need to make a few more, and more, and more. We made some large floor cushions so the dolls can lay down and be cozy. We add the bow pillows from our previous video, then just continue adding pillows until the room is filled. Now let's make a quilt to go with those pillows. I cut two and a half by two and a half inch squares from leftover fabric and ribbon. Take two squares, lay them good side to good side, lining up the edges, so a straight line across one side, connecting them. Take another square of fabric and lay it good side to good side on one of the sewn pieces, line up the edges, and sew a straight line all the way across. So now we have three squares in a row. Add another, and another, and another to make a long row of squares. Now I'm going to repeat this process about five to six more times. Once all the squares have been sewn into rows, take the first row, flip it over and lay it on the next row, line up the edges, and sew a straight line along one side, connecting the two rows. Take the next row, flip it over and line up the edges, sew across the side to add it on. Then repeat until they are all sewn together. Cut a large piece of fabric that is the same size as the sewn squares. Then cut a long rectangle. Fold over and hem one side of the rectangle. Set the large square piece of fabric aside. Take the rectangle, lay it onto the sewn squares, good side to good side, lining it up at the top edge. Sew a straight line all the way across. Flip it over to the other side, making a clean edge. Take the large square cut piece of fabric, fold over and hem the top, place it onto the squares good side to good side, lining them up at the hemmed edges. Sew a straight line along the side, down the back, and up the other side. Trim off the excess. We left one whole side open. Now we can turn it inside out, and we have a quilted pocket that we can use as a quilt and as a place to store our doll pillows. Add a cut piece of faux fur for a little texture, hem a long rectangle of fabric, clip it to the wall to use as a curtain, across the top for a canopy, and I can add some LED lights for a soft glow. We can also add art to the walls for a little something extra. And when playtime is over, Store the pillows and blankets inside the quilt and fold down the room until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting! Around me, I will give my love to you. But when I see you, when I get there. Give a shout out to Mary Beth Rice. What's up? Wow, Sophie. Everything looks great for the slumber party. Is there anything left that you need me to do? Nope. I've got it all covered. A mountain of pillows with a ton of blankets, popcorn, pizza, a movie, and of course, one of Grandma's famous homemade pies. This is the appetizer. This is great, so when are the guests gonna arrive? What are you talking about? We're all here, me and you. Sophie, you didn't invite anyone else? What about Carmen, Jade? And have to share grandma's pie? You're lucky I invited you. Oh, he was nothing but a city boy.